Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ronnie Yegerman. I'm a director and in charge of M&A and investor relationship for Waterways Technologies. Waterways Technologies is a unique investment opportunity. We're one of the few smart irrigation companies which are listed around the world. Uh, we're predominantly based on Israeli technology. Um, the company was listed about three years ago on the Toronto Stock Exchange and is listed right now in Frankfurt. What are we talking about? Um, I think it's what, Ava, it's 29 degrees today in Frankfurt? Uh, exactly. Yeah, so yes. um, I think there's a <laughs> big, yeah, there's a big drought in Italy. Uh, I just read yesterday that um, the volume of the Po River near Milan is, has gone down in an unprecedented way. Uh, global warming is great, creating global shortage of water and global shortage of water uh, creates pro big problems in agriculture. And for many years, uh, we in Israel have developed um, a lot of technology to overcome this shortage of water because we are basically an arid land. Uh, most of the area in Israel is desert, and we've developed uh, technology to overcome these problems. Um, if we look at water, 70% of the, the fresh water in the world is consumed for irrigation, for agriculture usage. And that is a complete waste. And we are bringing technology that overcomes this. And we're facing another big problem, which is the rising amount of population around the world. Um, COVID has created huge problems in supply. Um, we used to all think that we could um, um, cultivate um, agriculture, produce and everything in third world countries. Well, Corona came and we can't do that anymore. Governments around the world are coming back to cultivating in their own land. Um, population is rising and we need better ways um, to cultivate and irrigate um, irrigate um, produce and agriculture product. And how do we do it? What is the technology? What is the baseline technology that Waterways Technologies uses to um, really create a better way to irrigate and cultivate uh, crops? We use smart irrigation systems, which means um, very few, a, a, a very small amount of water is transmitted through hoses, through hoses. These hoses have small hole in, holes in them and both fertigation and water are transported through those hoses to the root of the plant. And that way plants actually will grow better and more efficient and about 70% less water is used for irrigation. Our smart irrigation, drip irrigation technology drippers, which are the small hoses that I um, that I described before, they deliver water and fertilizer directly to the root of the plant. So the, the plant actually gets exactly the amount of water it needs. Um, this compares to flood irrigation, which is still the most common um, irrigation system, uh, way used in the world. You can go uh, on the Autobahn in Germany and you'll see um, tons of water which are sprayed on fields. That is a complete waste of water and the wrong way um, to irrigate crops. So we're actually using less water, less chemicals. It's eco-friendly. We get greater yields of crops and higher quality. And all this is done through um, high-tech systems, they're all computer-based, uh, computer-controlled, cloud-based, and everything can be controlled via your iPad or your iPhone. The market itself is growing huge. Um, it was 1.2 billion US dollars in 2021. It'll double itself in 2026. Uh, we are actually in the company seeing that demand as we speak. So the world has um, understood that um, flood irrigation is not the most efficient way to irrigate crops. 
and therefore the um, demand for spot irrigation is growing. A little bit about waterways, about the company. We were established in Israel in 2003. Um, we listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange in March of 2019, raising um, 5 million Canadian dollars, which is give or take 3.5 million euros, maybe a little bit more. Stock was listed at 25 cents. Um, and we took the money actually to expand the company, both in technology and um, through mergers and acquisitions. So the first acquisition we did, we wanted to go into uh, the North American uh, market. We acquired a Canadian irrigation company in June of 2019. Um, that company was selling about 2 million Canadian dollars, roughly 1.5 million euros. Today, it's tripled the size and the company grew significantly. We then established a Chinese subsidiary. We had an ongoing business in China and uh, we established our own direct sales subsidiary in, in China. And the company in 2021 uh, achieved record sales of 20 million Canadian dollars, roughly uh, 15 million euros. Um, a year before that, it was 12. Uh, million uh, Canadian dollars or roughly 9 million euros and we raised 4.4 million dollars in a private placement. The stock at the time a year ago was 12 cents um, and it went up to 44 cents um, in the beginning of the year. Today it's traded in the last couple of um, weeks anywhere between 20 to 24 cents so we still have very very happy investors with these times made uh, sufficient um, money on their investment. Uh, we are expanding in South America. We signed an LOI to acquire a Chilean irrigation company, which is very similar uh, to our company. Um, this um, acquisition is supposed to be closed today or tomorrow. Uh, we'll probably announce it in the next couple of days. Um, and then we received the beginning of the year, the la largest contract in the company's history. It was 9.4 million Canadian dollars or about 7 million euros. And that is, was to irrigate cotton crops in the central Asian country of Uzbekistan. Um, our business model comprises of two. We sell irrigation um, equipment based on Israeli technology and the growth factor of the company um, is actually designing, installing, and delivering long, long, long uh, term servicing of turnkey irrigation projects around the world. Uh, you'll see a list later in the presentation. We're pretty much spread out around the world. We have 400 customers in 40 countries. The company is spread globally. As I said before, our headquarters, our operation headquarters, RD. Uh, and most of the sales and marketing are in Israel. We have an operational subsidiary um, in Canada, an operational subsidiary in China, and now we'll have an operational subsidiary for South America in Chile. All that um, is owned by a Canadian holding companies, which is traded in Toronto and located in, in Canada by the, way of, by the name of Waterways Technologies. We have done um, in 2021 um, about 12 irrigation projects around the world with a total value of 10.1 million Canadian dollars or roughly um, um, seven and a half million euros. And you can see how diverse our business is. It starts from cotton irrigation in Uzbekistan, um, doing medical high-tech um, uh, medical cannabis irrigation projects in Israel and in South America, um, blueberries in China, dates in Vietnam, um, and strawberries in Ethiopia. So we're very spread out around the world. Our business um, starts uh, when, this, when dawn is in China and, and goes down when sunsets in, in the west coast of Canada. So pretty much spread all around the world. Just to, some examples of our business, um, one of the crops that we are doing, uh, we have a highly uh, specialization in, is in blueberries. Uh, we've done a first 
smart irrigation project for Driscoll's. Dr Driscoll's is the largest blueberry cultivator in the world. It's an American company which grows blueberries in China. Um, we have since done smart, smart blueberry irrigation projects in uh, countries like Mexico and Ethiopia. So we have gained a reputation of irrigating blueberries. It's a high yield crop on a low area where our systems are really fit for it. Um, our major and key growth driver today is irrigating cotton in Uzbekistan. Um, the government of Uzbekistan has decided that it wants to diversify agriculture and subsidize uh, growing um, cotton. Um, now, cotton is a crop which needs a lot of a lot of water, and we were choice, chosen in Uzbekistan to be the prime contractor for uh, cotton irrigation. We started with a small business, um, sold about three uh, million euros of irrigation equipment last year, and that's up to seven this year. Um, in Israel, we're very active in the medical cannabis cultivation business. Our largest product was done for the Canadian, uh, one of the five largest cannabis companies in the world, Cronus, which started a facility in Israel. And we are the prime contractor for actually the cultivation uh, business and um, the irrigation business. Our backlog this year already comprises of about 17 million Canadian dollars or roughly, um, I think, 13 million euros. This is higher than, than what it says here because we have announced uh, additional projects in the last four weeks. So, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the pace of growing. Um, we're, we finished half year and we already have almost the whole turnover we had in the whole of 2021. So that is our growth factor. Uh, we're doing, again, $9.4 million of business in Uzbekistan, about um, $6 million this year in business in Canada, and so on in, in other countries. So if we look at what we did in 2021, the highlights for our um, annual financial statements, um, sales increased from 12 million Canadian dollars to, to 20, um, service revenue increased substantially to 8.7 million Canadian dollars, uh, we have a positive EBITDA, which turned to a positive profit in Q1 of this year. And we had a total working capital of 4.5 million Canadian dollars, which is roughly um, 3 million euros. So all the parameters of the company were increased substantially in 2021 versus um, 2022. Um, <clears throat> if we look at the number of traded securities. There are currently about 145 million shares traded, um, 38 million warrants to be exercised at 18 cents, and an option uh, plan for our employee. Uh, management owes 35%, the free flow to 65%. I'm very happy to see um, the, the free float continuing growing in Germany. Just last year, last week, we traded about 1.2 million shares only in five days in Germany. So I think we've created an audience for ourselves in Germany. We're very happy uh, with the way um, our, our stock is performing in Germany. Um, management team of the company is comprised of Ohad Haber, the CEO. He founded the company. Um, we have Tomer Bachar, Amir Elon, who are on the operational level. Um, Tal Weil is our chief agronomist. He's currently located in Canada, and we've taken the strategy to grow in North America. That's why he's located right now there. And we have a very young and talented CFO, Doris Ney. Um, board of Directors is comprised of Ohad. We have um, three Canadian members, uh, one Israeli and myself. Um, all experience in capital markets and in operational business. Um, our comparative advantage, and this is why I think this is why I think it's such a great investment opportunity. Uh, we have clients on four continents of the world, not yet present in Australia. Very experienced management team, 
in the business of irrigation. Um, our target, our niche in the market, uh, we're very small in the market. So 20, $25 million of sales or 15 million euro on, on a business that's two and a half million dollar euro. We're not even 1%, so we have huge opportunities to grow. And uh, our technology is known uh, for, to be, uh, be one of the best in the world. Um, we're going to grow the company in the next couple of years, organic growth, geographic, uh, which we've just proven to do. Uh, we'll add more technologies to our base and we'll continue doing M&A. So um, I finished with my presentation. I thank you for listening and I'm really uh, opening, open for questions. I speak also a little bit Deutsch. I will try to answer the questions in Deutsch, but if it doesn't work, I will give uh, better in English. Well, thanks for that, Ronnie. Uh, ganz herzlichen Dank. Uh, wie Herr Jäger mal gerade schon mal sagt, er hat ein paar Jahre ich glaub, in München gelebt. Mün Munich, was ah, nein, in, Aachen, in Aachen und Darmstadt. Aha, Aachen und Darmstadt hatte ich das falsch im Kopf. Ähm, die meisten Teilnehmer sind aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum, aber einige sind auch aus dem englischsprachigen Raum. Most uh, of, from the audience are from, from the German speaking part of, of Europe, but uh, additionally, some of them are, in, in, uh, are English speaking, native English speaking. So, uh, therefore, we have decided that uh, as Ronnie is able to understand and, and speak German, that we do the QA bilingual. We have the QA Frage zweisprachig. So, um, we have received a, a few questions before, and we have before schon einige Fragen uh, bekommen, die ich jetzt um, zweisprachig dann einmal kurz vorlesen werde. Und Ronny will versuchen, sie auf Deutsch zu beantworten. <lacht> ich verspreche nicht. Wir versuchen es. Um, also die erste Frage: Wie groß ist der Markt für intelligente Bewässerungen? Was sind die wichtigsten Markttreiber? Welche sind die wichtigsten Mitwettbewerber? In Englisch: How big is the market for smart irrigation? What are the key market drivers? What are the main competitors? Das muss ich auf Englisch machen. <laughs> Too kompliziert auf Deutsch. Um, <laughs> the key market drivers, I've said in the presentation, is the shortage of water in the world. Okay. It started, um, it started really uh, in arid countries, countries like Israel, where we are 70% desert, and we've created an ecosystem where agriculture, we almost use no fresh water to irrigate in Israel. It's all groundwater, all recycled water. Um, most of our drinking water is desalinated. So Israel is very well prepared for its water shortage. And then we put in a smart drip irrigation system just to use water and fertilizers very efficient. Um, the key competitors are in the business, believe it or not, are Israeli companies. Um, the two biggest ones are Netafim. Netafim um, is an Israeli company that, that invented drip irrigation many years ago. Um, it's about a one and a half billion dollar company. Um, it's owned by Mexican, the Mexican conglomerate. It was bought several, um, several times over. So that's the major competitor. The second con large competitor is called uh, Rebolis, which is also an Israeli company. It just bought a large uh, Indian con conglomerate, uh, Jane Irrigation from India. So it's going to be about a billion uh, dollar company and it, uh, it is owned by a large private equity group. So these are the two largest competitors around from around the world, both Israeli companies. Thanks, so I just see that um, Mr. Brech has a Question, uh, Werner Brech, um, Herr Neumann, können Sie uh, den Herrn Brech einmal kurz freischalten? Okay, ich glaube, ich bin freigeschaltet jetzt. Hören jetzt, Sie ja. mich? Ja, können Sie gut okay. hören. Uh, I have to decide whether to, to raise the question in English or in German. Perhaps I, I will do both. Das Deutsch uh, verstehe ich, das Deutsch verstehe ich. Yeah, it was very interesting and I will tell you, so really, I do not understand what the technology is, what you are doing, or is it the handling that makes you more competitive than the others? 
as I raise this question, I have a good friend, unfortunately died half a year ago. He was a, a gene technologist and he was very famous in the world and he reduced the consumption of the plants due to genetic uh, changes in the plant itself. So he, he was very successful in Morocco. And so are you doing such thing like this in to, to uh, change the plants, the, uh, the, the biology, uh, the biology of the, of the plant or is it your handling of technology? We are not changing anything in the plant, okay? Yeah, but that is a, a additional a, a good chance. There is a good chance that it, it, it reduces the, the units or so to concentrate the power of the plant to the corn, to the corn building, instead of making uh, uh, leaves you do not know. Uh, do, do that, is, know? that is true. We're, we're not into uh, we're not into the agronom agronomy of the plant okay but we do um, we do deliver very smart system that both irrigate and fertigate the plant um, and the data which is put in there is data which is known about the plant data about the soil data about the water um, and data about the climate so all of this goes into an irrigation menu and the crop itself is irrigated every day almost differently. Okay, um, good. I understand. That is uh, to make it clear what you are uh, looking uh, concentrated to. Very simple. Nothing, nothing sophisticated in the form of, of genes or anything like that. Okay, thank you. Saying that, saying that it was proven by many studies that this way to irrigate plants brings higher crops and better crops. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I learned it. I learned it in the past as there was a, a big fighting against gene technology here uh, 15 years ago. So everyone was telling, oh, they are, they are doing something against God and what, what he regulated and you cannot touch it there. You make new, new peoples and uh, that, things like this. But that a farmer normally goes and make the the uh, adjectives of, of a plant and change it. It is frog uh, from Obstbäume and things like this. That is also uh, investigating in the plant itself. If you cross the one plant with the with the uh, activity of the other and and things like this, and you can do it better in laboratories. That means if you have high quality gene technology, it's better than to leave it. To, to the agricultural peoples and wait for decades or hundreds of years if you come to the end of the what what you are looking for but okay. that only by the way <laughs> okay good